UFC Women's Phantomweight Division matchup. So here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, Assassin. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 127 pounds. Bam, bam! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go with round one. Most people are not expectant of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling. But these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. She can't defend your knees. Nice kick. Big body kick lands. Gets the elbow up into the target. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big leg kick lands. Nice loop and punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It's such a fast leg kick. Big punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Nice body kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Beat up the body. Well, she's doing an outstanding job defensively and offensively. She has landed several counters in this fight. There is another one, but all of it set up by the head movement and the footwork and her uncanny ability to use her opponent's over-aggressiveness against her. If you're a 
opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done there. She has done that over and over again. Every time she throws it, it's landing. Big body kick. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Ah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Superman punch. Nice stick with the right hand. 20 seconds left. Beautiful leg kick throw. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws it. We're not going to let that happen again this way. have to be smart. Remember all those hours we spent training? All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast to throw. Oh, nice jab. There's no give on that leg kick. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Trying to set up that counterattack. Can't take many of those, better check. Nice body to run under the elbow. Well, she connects with a right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. Oh, nice. What a punch. Starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Dig and kick. Changes her stance. Back southpaw now. Just unable to quite find that range. Stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Again, in the clinch. And there comes the separation now. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. And they separate. Round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. We're winning this fight. We got a little more to go. Box 
Jackson is awesome. She can't hang with you. You're a superstar in there. Let's keep that going. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes there. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really gonna have to make a decision that they are the one that's gonna get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Big leg kick land. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, she caught the kick. And they separate. Again, back into this position. Hook is there again. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, big left hand there. with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. That's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. She's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. 
her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Jackson! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Right, so here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. Well rounded, doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even matchup. Ooh, what a punch. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block. The majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Oh, big head kick there. Big punch land. Soften her up. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Real body kick. Back and forth we go here. Big head kick land. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice stick with the right hand. Keep your hands up. The overhand left is true. Standing. Oh, big left. See, see, there it is. See, switch. See, switch. Good exchange there inside. Good stick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, an instinctive land there as she goes to the jab, DC. Nicely done. That jab is stopping her in her tracks. It is not only a range finder, she is really damaging her opponent behind the jab. Battling for hooks. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us now get you some highlights. Man, her body kicks were on point in that previous round. She got to do exactly what she wanted. She said to us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, I am going to kick her in the body until her hands start to drop, then I'm going to go over the top. First phase of her plan is complete. Can she find the head kick to end the night? I'm here. Last round was rough. That's what we expected. This round, we're gonna turn it around. All right, round two. Good fun.
Oh, high level stuff there as she blocks the strike and counters with a jab of her own. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Oh, big knee, big knee there. <laughs> Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. Massive take down the fifth lane. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and she's back up again. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, that's a good knee to the body, exactly what she needed. So she lands the double jab now, DC. And again, she has said a lot about not just being a one-trick pony, not just being one and done, but to continue to throw volume. And she is certainly doing that tonight. She's doing a fantastic job fighting behind the jab. And look at her double it up. It's a thing of beauty. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big head kick land. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. She lands a oh. switch knee. Oh, well, what a round it was. You know, she kicks like a mule, and that kicking game was on full display in that round, champ. And you see the damage that it's done to her opponent. Her opponent's limping back to the corner. She's moving much more slowly as the fight is going on. That was a great game plan developed by her and her coaches. Last round, she was more aggressive. This round, I need you to come back and push the pace. Let's get this fight down, and let's look for submissions. Third round underway. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Big kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. All right, you're doing great, girl. You're doing she great. She blocked the punch. Head kick land. Oh. Oh, 
Well, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, big nice knee. Game. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, big elbow. Back in the clinch now. Oh, nice. Nice. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, big head kick. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful kick. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so the women go the distance here tonight, entertaining fight throughout. And she really got it done with her striking, I think. She got it done with her stand-up. That's what she's known for. It's her calling card. It's exactly what we come to expect when this young lady steps into the octagon, throwing her punches and punches, landing beautiful kicks. What a great performance. Official decision now Ladies and in after the three buff rounds, has. We go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jackson! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date. It's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art was MMA, that certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jujitsu, I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. All right, so here she is, one of the most prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there. And you watch this young lady landing the cool leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can, how she can be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Express! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Assassin.
And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. We're expecting a lot of action, and really to see both women challenged in all phases of mixed martial arts. They're both so talented. They're both so good at every aspect of fighting. I want to see who can truly force their style on the other woman. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Nice punch there. She was trying to do there with the counter, but the left punch misses. Right hand upstairs. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Nice stick with the right hand. Does she have a soccer background? How about the kick there? I mean, she must have a soccer background because who kicks at heart? Nice stick with the right hand. Give me that low kick. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Tough to take down, no problem. Nice kick with the right hand. Right under the elbow, the five feet lane. Oh, a big left hand lands. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Lands a big elbow there. As your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say, that was clean. It was so clean. Woman, one of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with a jab. Round two is next. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. All right, here we go. Round two is underway. Round one, pretty competitive. I mean, you weren't looking at your phone, so you seemed entertaining. Yeah, very, very entertaining. You know, when you're not looking down at the phone, there's something to be watched. These are two of the best female fighters in the UFC. That's a big strike right there. Lands a huge right hand. to hammer that lead leg. Real nice body kick land. Just a slip there. 
And now she's got the tie clinch. Three minutes to go. Oh, combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and pitiful. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Great punch. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, Superman punch! I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in the fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice leg. Kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Good jab. Switching stances here. Well, it's not considered a power shot or even a significant strike, but that jab looked pretty significant to me. When you land that jab like she does, it is a significant strike. To hell what anybody else says. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of strike. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Stay strong. Still in this fight. Let's go. Come on now. More clinching. <laughs> nice punch lands over the top. Nice stick with the right hand. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is her weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Big kick lands. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. What a 
tricky head kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Beautiful punch. They continue to exchange. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest for 9.28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, so the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight, she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight, and it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter, so the finish did not present itself. So what did she do? She dominated from start to finish and gets this unanimous decision. Coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Taekwondo fighter. Making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Ferocious! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we go with round one. Going to be very interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight, very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well-rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. Straight punch lands. Oh! She is such a 
Wade, the first striker, that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Not there. Right hand upstairs. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice stick with the right hand. And they separate. Beautiful body. Head kick. Single leg take Big body kick lands. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Huge knee lands from the Titans. Big kick lands. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Sneaky head kick. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice body kick. Nice jab. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Oh! Oh! Big kick land. Oh! River kick! Back to the feet. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so there's the end of the round. She knocked her down, but not out. DC, the replay is all you. She is as tough as they come. She is not going to give up on herself ever. If there is an opportunity to fight back, she will take it. Well, let's see what she makes of a chance to stay in the fight. All right, let's get to round two. Nice strike. Beat first. Keep moving. Nice one, two there. Nice stick with the right hand. Big body. Just missed with the left there. Hands up, hands up. Able to check the high kick. Oh, quick position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Oh, big punch land. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Straight right hand, but she misses. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. And they separate. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. So again, they will clinch here. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Takedown defense holds up. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Nice straight punch. Nice 
One, two there. Oh, the Superman punch lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice stick with the right hand. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Real sneaky body. Oh, she blocks the punch. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is underway here after one of the better five-minute sequences in recent UFC. Strike of the fight. Her best strike. If you don't see this type of power in the big time, she lands and she lands very effectively. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world class display of striking here tonight. Big kick lands. Right back in the clinch, look for the backhand to get very active. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. <laughs> nice stick with the right hand. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Good punch land. And she's back in the clinch. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Liver kick. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued, she's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration, but she has to throw all that out the window. She's going to try to chase the finish. Nice punch lands. She's just out of range with that right hand. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot, take the shot. the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice stick with the right hand. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, straight right.
All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Barosha! All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting the unanimous decision. He got a bag in his bag now. I get a check and say less. Don't you know everything lasts now? Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art, was MMA, that certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Taekwondo fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Gambler. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. And well, round it doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even matchup. Big punch lands for the middle. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Nice stick with the right hand. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice loop and punch. All right, so she attempts the takedown here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go upper body, try to engage in the clinch. Try to mix it up if you're going to get these takedowns. Nice kick. Oh, nice. Under three minutes now to go on the round. 
It's okay, you're fine. Let's recompose. Let's nice sneaky head kick. So the straight punch is there for her. Beautifully split the guard on that attempt. Even though her opponent's hands were up, she threw it right down the middle and landed exactly where she intended it to. Great punch landed with so much power. Missing on the uppercut there. Move, move and recover. Move and recover. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Nice kick. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, big elbow. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you got to try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, saves work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. Superstar, your striking is on a whole nother level. She can't hang with you. You're like a lion tamer out there. Expect her to come out looking. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, second round underway. What a punch. Straight right is there. Can't take many of those. You better check. Real quick leg kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point go, fighting a little go, bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Nice shot. High kick is open. Diggy oh. kick. Nice stick with the right hand. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Big kick. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> nice stick with the right hand. Right on the elbow. Use 
Real nice body kick lands. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, hands up, hands up. Looking to set up that uppercut now. Nice leg kick lands. What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can main what a round. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. Last round. Wow, that was impressive. Keep throwing those leg kicks. Look at her leg. You ready? You ready? Go Third go. round underway. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. And they separate. Working out of that southpaw stance. Beautiful kick. Ooh, what a punch. Right hand. Fire right off the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Wow! Oh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Get the double leg. Double leg. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Big punch land. <laughs> All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the gambler. Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed it, right? This goes to the maturity of her career. 
The fact that she is growing and growing and growing and can win a tough fight over an extended period of time. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And an outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. And her side. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making a professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds, fighting at a Makaha Hawaii Razor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. So here we go with round one. We're expecting a lot of action. And we're going to see both women challenged in all phases of mixed martial arts. They're both so talented. They're both so good at every aspect of fighting. I want to see who can truly force their style on the other woman. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it. There is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. One, two there by Anderson. And she switches to Southpaw. She missed with that jab. Nice punch by Anderson. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Let's go. Keep moving forward. Able to check that kick as well. Bring her down with a low kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Good 
good stick. Anderson's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Oh! What a beautiful takedown. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling. It's a great movement that she's showing on the ground. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Back to the feet now. Horn oh, oh. for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. I took a beating that round. It's starting to swell. You need to be careful here and fight smart. I want you to stay long. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Here's the kick blocked by Anderson. Kicks there. Good punch. Well, you hate to be overly critical, because she has scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Another clinch position. She blocked the punch. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch right, there. Right, let's move now. Let's breathe it Some nice back and forth action here. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Attempting an arm bar here. Attacking arm bar. There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling.
So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by tap out, Razor. How about this young woman as the celebration is on? She sat down in our fighter meeting and she told us to a man, to a woman, I'm going to submit her at some point in this fight, and that's exactly how she gets it done. That's exactly how she got it done. She knew where the fight needed to be. And the moment she got a chance, the moment she got the submission locked in, she latched on that thing like you wouldn't believe it because she knew it was her chance. This is my moment to get my result. She did exactly that, got the submission win, and on to the next one. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxers. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one. And you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds, fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, downtown. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds, fighting out of Lindenhurst, New York, downtown. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Going to be very interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight, a very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well-rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. What a body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Big punch to the body. Back and forth we go. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Beautiful hook. And she caught the kick. And they separate. That's a good strike right there. 
big head kick land. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Yeah. And the Inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. The show call, you drive. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Nice kick with the right hand. Able to check the high kick. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, she's staying really busy here in the clinch. You like to see that. Oh, pretty good series of punches by her there. She certainly has found the range early tonight. She can box with anybody in the world, and she's showing that tonight. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any idea that that kick is coming. Beautiful strike. She slips that left hand there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches. Though. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Pick up the pace. You're fighting too slow. We need speed here. You're faster than she is. All right, round two is now underway. Right. Interesting approach by both right. women in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process there. Exactly. You knew it was going to be a tough, very competitive close fight. I believe that was shown in round number one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice head kick. There, DC, that was well done. Well done. She does a great job of recognizing the opening and getting the leg there. Oh, big right hand, yes. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still, DC, unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. Big kick land. Beautiful entry as she lands the double leg takedown. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fighter. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Work your game plan. Work your game plan. Give me a takedown. 
All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of hit. Hey, there it is, her first takedown of the fight. She told us in her fighter meeting Thursday, at some point, I will take her down. She didn't expect it to take this long. She really had to work to get this first takedown, and she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level change. Now she finally has secured her first takedown. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the previous two rounds, pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets in. Very evenly matched fight, and we knew exactly this. And they were matched up, we were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. Put your hands, Floyd. <laughs> hands high. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Big, straight left. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Beautiful punch. Beautiful head kick. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Look at the turnover in that kick. Another clinch position. Oh, it's a knee! Caught that kick there. Nice stick with the right hand. Clinch. Back to the orthodox stance. Oh. Oh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big kick land. Oh, uppercut to the head. Liver kick. What a fight! All right, so the women go the distance here tonight. Entertaining fight throughout. And she really got it done with her striking. She got it done with her stand-up. That's what she's known for. It's her calling card. It's exactly what we come to expect when this young lady steps into the octagon. Throwing her punches and punches, landing beautiful kicks. What a great performance. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. The judges score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Dan Tye.
All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Big train. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Madrid, Spain, lights out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. Well rounded doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camps. This is a very even matchup. Head kick. Straight punch lands. Nice kick with the right hand. Nicely done to the body. Oh, head kick. Oh, straight right. Beautiful body kick. Well, she missed with that right hand. Give me some more. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big body kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, nice slip there and a beautiful counter. 
She blocked the punch. Oh, that's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. Nice kick with the right hand. Went for the inside leg kick. Changes her stance yet again. And there comes the separation now. I need more out of you. Oh! Keep these points. Take down. <laughs> oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go. Back in the clinch now. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Massive knee lands from the Thai plum. <laughs> Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice elbow there and another one. Ooh, big shot land. And she's going southpaw now to get the round. Take down land. Finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. While right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fights. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. All right, round one just okay. Round two is now upon us. How do you approach the first round in a fight compared to other rounds? I know it's a tough question. For you. Round number one is usually the round. <laughs> and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh! Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Nice strike. Nice body kick. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. See, there it is. She switched. She switched. Battle for position here. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the She did not even secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well versed as her opponent. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Big body kick. Oh, big punch land. Able to check the high kick. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Southpaw stands to orthodox now. Nice trade punch. 
Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fighting behind her jab. Oh, oh nice fight. jab. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Good punch land. Nice head kick. where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive head kick. Huge knee lands from the post. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking up top and down low. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Visibly limping here. There you go. Nice punch, Lance. Try to establish that jab. Well, she connects with the right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's going to go to sleep. Changes her stance. Goes back to the southpaw stance here. Big punch lands through the middle. Work there. Beautiful straight punch. And now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or not? It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. We go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9:28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Big Tang. Watch and the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight. And it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter. So the finish did not present itself. So what did she do? She dominated from start to finish and gets this unanimous decision. Up next, 
It's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art, was MMA, that certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jujitsu, I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the professional! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong! Live. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch balls is my yeah. So here we go with round one. We're expecting a lot of action and really to see both women challenged in all phases of mixed martial arts. They're both so talented. They're both so good at every aspect of fighting. I want to see who can truly force their style on the other side. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, she blocks the punch. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, the right punch is there for her. Left hand also good. Changes her stance. Get off first. Breathe. Again. Back into this position. Uh. Nice loop and punch. Yeah. 
under three minutes remain in round one. Big kick lands. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person? Oh, oh, scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Ooh, what a head kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, high-level stuff here. Speed to catch the kick. Now counters with a takedown. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking past the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not a huge connection by her there. Massive shot land. How she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. Strong straight left there. Ten seconds now in round one. Second round, straight ahead. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be here. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Beautiful body just land right under the elbow. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Big crew starting on the right side of her body. Not good. Oh! This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well, now she's really starting to time her opponent. Beautiful punch lands there shortly after she caught the leg. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish it. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Great punch landing with so much power. How about that shin? Protect your face. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on.
right hand punch from the clinch. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. Oh, she's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie plum here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well-versed in going and securing that position. Great job. All right, so she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done there. She has done that over and over again. Every time she throws it, it's landed. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round. Body kick, certainly a big story for her, and almost like a two-by-four hitting your rib cage. No fun. Yeah, it's like a two-by-four. It's like someone taking a bat and just driving it into your ribs. She took those shots over and over in that round, and if she continues, her night's going to end very soon. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of taking a counter right hand. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. More aggressive with your striking. <laughs> what a punch. Leg kick, nice stick with the right hand. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, man. Big knee to the body. So now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Switching stances here. Oh, big head kick land. Punch over the top. She lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. So nice, and potentially a critical takedown here. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting it. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is, so the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, DC, take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Just a slip there. Caught that kick there. 
Oh, beautiful straight punch there. She has put it all together here tonight. She caught the leg. Earlier, maybe might have gone for the takedown, but in this instance, she chooses to punch out. Nicely done. Powerful leg kick land. Changes her stance yet again. Watch these to the body. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice one, two there. Ooh, what a punch. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick land. Able to check the high kick. Let's move that head now. All right, girl, awesome. You're doing great this round. Big punch land. Boom. Two, three, two. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? No! Oh my God! Nice kick. Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Under a minute now to go. striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end a fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Good stick. Just unable to quite find that range. Again, in the clinch. Oh, now she's got the tie clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Good punch. Look at the control. She's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Does she have a soccer background? How about the kick there? I mean, she must have a soccer background because who kicks that hard? Able to check the high kick. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! 
Oh, very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take many more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check those kicks. Nice punch there. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, it sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission, or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. You've got to do something. You are not going to win this fight if you let it go to the judges. Stay sharp. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice kick. Such a fast leg kick. More clinching. And they separate. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice. Fire there, DC. The seminal blow of this fight, though. Yeah, man. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the professional. All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening form tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting the unanimous decision. Coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. All right, here's the number one women's Bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Hard round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Lights Out. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Bantam. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with round one. Going to be very interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight. Very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well-rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. Oh, what a punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice jab by her there, and another one for good measure. So before her opponent can reset, she doubles up on the jab. She does a fantastic job of popping that jab, fight behind it, but now she's finding so much success that she's landing double jabs. Oh, she lands a combination now. Nice volume of strikes, and it was hard to find a miss in there. She's on point. Volume is very important, but the accuracy stands out above all in that combination. That's a big strike right there. Caught that kick there. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking, and certainly found the target there. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Beautiful strike. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. And they separate. There's no give on that leg kick. where she is, she's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. So again, they will clinch here. Great punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. There she goes, using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top, she'll just start pounding that jab right into your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Oh, she's been working on her defense. Kick block there. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Again. Back into this position. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Round two underway. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the... Oh, some I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Combination's here. Nice punch lands over the top. Keep your hands up. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to... Oh. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, huge head kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown. Problem. Oh, big knee! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Beautiful punch. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh, straight right. Dig and kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, she caught the kick. And they separate. See, see there it is. She switched. She switched. Oh. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Championship fight. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. 
All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! Engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options. Whoa! Can't take pictures. No! Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by she the bottom got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and getting back to your feet. That was something nice. Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is her weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you are watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her... Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! She blocked the punch. Trying to set up that counterattack. Another clinch position. She gets to her spot. The top. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. Whoa! Whoa! I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Gets up again here, but hurting. That knee might have landed there. Well, she's got a good jab, miss with it there. Finger down. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Big head kick. Leg kick land. Oh, big knee. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there, DC. Great 
shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get it out Gets up again here, but her... Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really light her up now. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on the bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down, didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the type of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slow. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Huge connection right there. Massive shot lands. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Been busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Ah, oh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job, nice punch. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new...
fire, the death to fire, the Mike Myers, murder rapper for hire, doer of drive fire.